Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah from The Charming Detroiter and today I am sharing with you guys how we painted our wooden staircase. Hey friends, I'm Sarah from The Charming Detroiter. Welcome back if you have been here before and if this is your first time, then welcome. I run a lifestyle blog over at thecharmingdetroiter.com where I share everything fashion, food, style, home decor, travel. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, be sure to hit the big red subscribe button below so that you don't miss any of my videos. So today's video, I am really excited to share with you guys. We finally finished one of our DIY projects I've been wanting to do for a little while now. So we moved into our home about two years ago and we are kind of going for a modern farmhouse vibe. If you've been around the channel before or on my blog or my Instagram, you will be well aware of that. I really love the modern farmhouse style. And the staircase when we moved in was pretty like contemporary modern and like not super my style, but I knew that we would be able to work with it for a little while before we eventually renovate it. So we decided to do sort of a phase one, um, sort of mini kind of remodel of the staircase by painting it actually. And so today I'm going to share with you guys kind of the step-by-step -step process of how we did this. And then of course the finished product. So let's go. Good morning friends. So I have zero makeup on right now, um, but I wanted to kind of start off this video. Um, we are going to be renovating a little part of our house. We're actually going to be painting our staircase. Um, so I'm going to kind of walk you through what it looks like right now and then the whole process, you know, all the steps that we are doing to um, complete this project. So I wasn't really able to find like the perfect like DIY tutorial of what I wanted to do. So. I kind of like did a bunch of research online and some different like home um, renovation blogs and some YouTube videos. And so this is gonna be kind of a compilation. Hopefully it works out. And um, I'm excited to see the final product and take you guys along with us. So let's get started. All right, so we have quite a large staircase um, actually right off like our front door here. Hey Georgia, what's up? It starts actually like all the way down here. That's our basement, super dark, but, um, and then it comes all the way up and then I'll show you guys and then it actually kind of comes up and wraps around up here. So our long-term goal, what we eventually wanna do when we rip out these floors and replace them with new tile, we're going to actually rip out this whole staircase and do like wood tread risers and then a black metal banister kind of situation, which I think will be really nice. I think it'll like really give like a nice kind of modern farmhouse vibe to the foyer. But for right now, because it's kind of you know, quite a large project with doing the floors and the staircase all together. We're gonna to be holding off on that for a little while. And so we thought we would paint it black to kind of see how we like it. And honestly, anything is better than this like orangey toned wood that we have right now. So um, we're gonna kind of give it a shot, see how it goes. So I am gonna go get my painting clothes on and uh, get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually clean off the wood really good. I was recommended to use denatured alcohol. So my husband picked this up at the hardware store. So I'm gonna just use a rag and uh, make sure I got my mask and some gloves. All right, so finished cleaning. I um, highly recommend if you guys are gonna be using the denatured alcohol that you use one of these like P100 masks for filtering. I tried to use just like my N95 respirator or whatever and it was just not enough to get rid of the fumes. You can pick that up at uh, Home Depot or like any hardware store, but I would definitely recommend that. I saw some bloggers who used just like soapy water, so you know, it's probably your preference. I know these banisters have probably not been cleaned since we moved in, so I wanted to make sure we did a good job. All right, so I'm gonna move on to sanding. I saw some things online saying to get like a angled sanding block for using on like banisters and such because it can be easier to get in all the little cracks and like crevices and stuff. So I picked this up at Home Depot, it was like $4. So we're gonna give that a try. Okay, so basically it just needs kind of a light sanding. It helps like the primer and the paint to um, adhere to the wood better. Um, so I'm just gonna use this angle kind of um, black sanding brush to kind of just lightly sand down everything. And then I'm gonna use a cloth afterwards to kind of um, pick up all the loose dust from the sanding. All right, so it turns out sanding staircase rails really sucks, but I am done with that part. So I am 
Can I get taping? Okay, so it turns out that taping carpet is like super annoying. What I've been doing is kind of taking a long piece of tape. Here, I'll show you guys on this step. I'm gonna take like a long piece of tape, kind of like wrap it around, and then use like these kind of like putty tools, kind of like stick, and make sure that it gets in there like nice and snug. All right, so all of the taping is complete. It is. 406, which means that I've been working for almost four and a half, four and a half hours and I'm just finished like prepping everything. So I am putting out my tarps. We'll show you guys. I love these cloth tarps. They're like so much easier to use than the old plastic ones I used to have. So I bought these on Amazon. It's like a set of five or six of them, I think, and they're very easy to move, which is nice. So I'm just gonna tarp everything off and I think I'm gonna start up here with painting, so. All right, it is later than I care to admit, but we finished priming. Rob stepped in and helped, like the excellent husband that he is. So tomorrow will be paint day. All right, good morning. So it is day two of our painting the staircase project, and uh, we are actually gonna be painting today. We got everything prepped, taped, and primed yesterday. So now all that's left is just two coats of paint. So let's get started. So I got the Bare Ultra, let's see, Scuff Defense Stain Blocking Paint and Primer. What I normally get is like the paint primer, uh, premium paint primer, I believe it's called. But they did not have it in stock in the store, so the guy recommended this one instead. And I got it in eggshell because I did not want it to be too shiny. Some reviews said to do like, um, like a semi-gloss for trim like this, but I don't want it to be too shiny, so we're gonna go with eggshell. So one tip I have for you guys, they sell like the, these plastic paint trays or whatever, and they always get like really gross, and then the paint like congeals or whatever. So I actually use just like a plastic bag, and I'll put that over that so that then I can like pour my paint in here, and um, it's like easier to paint up, except you should do one without a hole in it. Always make sure that you keep like the, bag like with the logo side of it on the inside though because i've actually had it where the logo color like leaks into the paint i had to start all over and that kind of sucked <laughs> so but this makes it easier to clean up too because if you have a little bit of paint left in there you can just like kind of roll it off and roll it up in a ball and throw it away easy All right, just got done with the first coat. Definitely is taking a lot longer than I anticipated, which is fine. Probably won't get to the second coat until after dinner slash tomorrow, but I wanted to show you guys kind of how it's coming together. I'm like really in love with this color. It's actually the color of the trim outside and then our walls downstairs are kind of this grayish kind of color. And so we're gonna paint that actually everywhere up here, but we actually kind of want to do an accent wall of like woodwork here first, so. Um, that's probably gonna be the next project after these stairs are finished. All right, so we are finished with two coats of the paint and we finally finished all the touch-ups and took all of the tape off and everything. So let's check out the finished product. All right, so there you have it, our DIY staircase paint project that we recently finished. I hope that you guys find this video beneficial. I was really having a hard time finding like a good quality video that kind of walked through all of the steps of how you can go about doing a project like this on your own at home. And so I hope that this video is helpful for some of you guys out there who might wanna kinda do a quick um, and relatively inexpensive uh, update to your own home. All right, so if you liked this video, be sure to comment below. Let me know if you would paint your own staircase and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Bye friends.